Hey guys. Hey guys. It's uh, Tyron here again with uh, this guy. Uh, I couldn't remember his name. What's your name again? Devin. Damon. Devin, oh, yeah. Um, so Devin and I here are Devin and I are here on our way to work again. Um, if you follow me on social media on Twitter, you would know there was no video last week. That's because <clears throat> I was sick and being sick sucks. And I, as you can hear, I'm still a little bit not 100%, uh, but, but I'm doing better. I can actually speak. I didn't have a voice really last week and I sounded really, really grumpy and groggy. Um, but yeah, so I couldn't record last week, recording this week um, as we normally do on the way to work. Stuff I want to chat about today, um, first off, is about being sick. You know what I really hate about being sick is not. So there's a sense when, when I feel sick, this is my general like gripe about it, is my body is tired or sore or like low on energy and weak um, and I sound funny and that's all very like annoying. It, it sucks to kind of have to deal with that. Um, but what, what almost frustrates me a little bit more, and this is going to sound strange, is that even though that's happening to my body, is my mind is fine unless I have a headache that's a different story um, my mind is fine like I last night last week I was at home uh, trying to recover but I'm lying in bed trying to sleep but my brain is still going oh what about this and this and this and you got to do that and thinking about and it's almost like a, a restless thing because my brain wants me to continually do stuff and is still thinking through stuff but I have no energy or no ability to actually try anything. I mean, last week I was still toying around with some some sort of way of doing a video, but like I, I couldn't really do anything because I had no energy, um, and it would have been just it would have been a terrible video. That's what never happened. But that whole like my brain still wants to make something, and my brain still wants to interact and do things, but my body isn't. And that's for me is really frustrating because. Um, it's like I'm hampering myself because I'm restricted by myself so that sucks that's one of the things to me that sucks about being sick um, it's almost like your body's betraying you you know like I look up well, I look after my body you know you you feed it you give it coffee you know you give it everything it really needs and then one day it's just like so was lol here you go <clears throat> you, you, you can't talk now like why like it's it hurts my feelings. My body hurts my feelings, guys. You can quote me on that. My body hurts my feelings. Tired. 2018. Um, moving off of that, well, no, the only other thing about that really is headaches. I get, every once in a while, I get these headaches that, like, I see double. I don't know what's going on. It's really annoying. Um, and then all I want to do is sleep. Um, but then the reverse happens where my body's got energy and it's just like, yo, it's, it's you know, uh, and I'm like, I'm, dry, I'm dying here. Like, I can't think. That's like self-sabotage. Headaches are self-sabotage. And there's nothing I can really do about it except take pain medication and uh, try and sleep it off. That happened to me last night. I was at a meeting. I got home at nine o'clock. Well, half past nine. And um, I had a headache. I pretty much just took pain meds and then crawled into bed and slept so super unproductive really frustrating i went straight from work to that meeting but anyway let's not whine and complain about stuff like that <coughs> excuse me we're going to talk about today is the 13th of february which is the day before the 14th of february um which is, as many of you would already know, Valentine's love Day. Love Day. Uh, love what? Sorry. Um, it's Love Day, or Valentine's Day, as normal humans call it. And I thought we could talk about love, guys, you know? Bit of a sentimental moment. Let's talk about love and, and Valentine's Day. So, what do, you, what, do you, what do you think about love, guys? What do you... Is this awkward enough? You know? I could put some smooth jazz on, maybe. No? Okay. Let's, well, let's talk about love, though. 
Valentine's Day. <clears throat> There's this um, thing that happens in on this this day coming up here in South Africa that I or it's kind of worldwide these days, um, which is an interesting um, concept uh, of kind of love sucks or um, as it's now being rebranded towards a singleness awareness day yeah I find that weird I'm, I'll just let's just be honest about it when I was in school back in my day we had Valentine's Day at school and it was a day that you could wear civvies and everyone always wore some sort of red thing mm -hmm. and you could um, you could do like a Valentine's thing so you could buy teddy bears or chocolate or roses for someone else that you had a crush on and um, get that delivered to them either with your name on it or anonymously you kind of chose um, and you could like give them a rose and have the, the seniors of the school kind of deliver that so you would get these roses like the person would come in with a list of okay so it's this class this person's getting this this person's getting this this person's getting this that was a thing did you have that in your yeah I, I got a lot of gifts from people what i got none <laughs> like i was gonna be straight up honest i was that sad kid everyone else in the class would get something and i'd just be like yep De devin used to be quite famous when he was younger yeah yeah so um i don't know what it went from <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm married now, guys. So yeah, sorry. Yeah. So don't send them any roses. Please. So I'm just yeah. like so Back off to... oats and ladies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I was that sad kid who didn't really get anything. I think I ended up getting like one thing one year, and I was like, yeah. But yeah, I mean, everyone else around me used to get stuff. It was from his mom. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. My mom wouldn't do that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's worse. But okay. Shut up! Oh, my feelings in this episode. <laughs> but yes, that was um, that was something that happened. I remember having a friend who bought a teddy bear for, for a girl he had a crush on. And we had like arranged to try and get this to her, you know, like dropped off. And like he was too shy to tell anyone um, well to tell her that it was from him kind of thing but then as troll as some of my friends can be um, a whole bunch of them went to her afterwards and were like you know who that's from hey and yeah this poor guy we, we embarrassed him a lot at least I didn't have that because pff, no one knew who I was in school um, yeah, well, yeah. Oh, gosh these feelings <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got a lot of stuff, so... Really? I don't mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so that was a thing for us in school. Um, so now you got the kind of reverse happening where you have this Love Sucks promotion, which is here in South Africa. Um, you've got the singleness awareness thing where it's almost anti-Valentine's Day. It's anti, it's like, you know, you can be single and ready to mingle, do your thing, like... You don't need no man, no woman, like, you know, treat yourself, buy your own chocolates, which I think is kind of sad, but let's not get onto that part of this topic. Like, that's the thing, and it's, it's almost anti what this day is supposed to be about. Um, and that's just prevalence in culture in general. Here's, here's some, oh, I suppose this shows pretty much my crazy opinions and everything so it doesn't matter I can say things like that but I think it's silly that culture always has to find a way to be cool by like rebelling against the common thing so you know this day is about love this day is about celebrating that type of relationship and instead of doing that the whole bunch of people that are single who might feel left out who might feel um, like lonely on this day whatever um, are either finding instant hookups so they're finding someone because oh you know you can't be single with Valentine's Day remember that pressure in school as well um, those kind of issues people doing that or like people being like no I don't need anyone and I'm gonna go to these parties and ironically what happens at those parties is there's probably a whole lot of 
hookups and one night stands and stupidity in that sense happening um, even though you go as a, I ain't gonna be that person mm. um, but that happens and uh, I find it strange I just find it strange that we always have to rebel against what is accepted because you know somehow that's cool uh, so what's next it's like what's the next thing people are gonna rebel against I don't know let's not get into that if you have any ideas or any days that you find strange if you find Valentine's Day strange let's talk about it down below um, we are going to keep this video short so let me give you an example of what so there's a story about Valentine's Day and this isn't a hundred percent accurate um, cannot confirm but I like I like this concept of um, back in the day there's a story of a time period and like again this is a story okay. so don't go quoting me in your random paperwork somewhere I have a story of a guy named Saint Valentine's who during his era was the the, the royalty the kings um, banned marriage they didn't want men and women getting married because they thought they wanted the men single primarily for war um, so that they wouldn't be distracted by a woman at home they wouldn't have um, anything tying them back home and they would be these strong single men that could be used in the army to fight and so basically marriage was was outlawed and Saint Valentine's was someone who went and was like nope marriage is a sacred thing it's an important thing um, and so what he used to do is he used to marry people um, kind of like sneaky underground so he would get these people so I like, think Romeo and Juliet right that scene in the movie if you guys ever watched the Leonardo version um, I think it's guys they, they meet in the dead of night at some location like the church or the catacombs or something like that and he would marry them there before anyone else could do anything about it um, and I like that I like that there was someone out there that found this is also probably a very uncommon opinion these days um, found marriage important enough and love important enough to fight for it even though there were people anti anti love anti marriage and for me if that's where Valentine's Day comes from um, I would I would definitely say that's something you should celebrate um, love is a beautiful thing this is a very emotional episode lots of feelings wow love is an important thing um, if you have someone that you love um, you should be celebrating that person and yes there's a commercial side to this right so I'm not saying that you should go and buy flowers so that you get the free chocolate and so you can give them this wonderful gift or that you should spend tons of money on making them feel spoiled with like jewelry or whatever like that's commercial that's what that's what businesses want you to do because they want your money that's all their businesses want they're not there to celebrate the day they're there to make money off of you so you can do that if you have the money if that's how you express you want to express your love then do it but don't feel like you have to be obligated to do that right just make sure the person feels loved you don't have to go out Side note, going out on the Valentine's Day is probably the stupidest thing you could ever do in my opinion. Everything is expensive and everywhere is packed because everyone is doing it. I'd rather be at home um, or do something in a private setting rather than try and fight for a booking at a restaurant. It's just me being anti-human, anti-person maybe, I don't know. But that's my vibe. I think you need to celebrate love. I think you need to express that with the person you're married to. Um, that's that's a significant thing, and I think we we allow people to make singleness awareness and love sucks kind of diminish what this day is really about. Uh, well, not today, tomorrow is about. And this is my thoughts. Um, really, 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 really random. Um, but that's what I have on my head at the moment. Um, telling the person you love that you love them making them feel special I think that's something we need to do uh, don't assume that they know make sure they know make sure they feel it so yeah that's that's my vibe 
Devin, do you have anything you want to say? So basically, <clears throat> tomorrow, celebrate with your wife or get engaged tomorrow. Those are your only what? options for Valentine's Day, guys. That's, that that's escalated pretty quickly. much what Tyron is trying to get at. Get, it, get, it, get um, married. <laughs> yeah. So, go St. Valentine's. I really enjoy that story. I think it's a beautiful thing. Um, also, yeah, I have a question that someone actually asked me quite a while ago. Are you allowed to have more than one Valentine's on Valentine's Day and I mean I remember one year I had four and they, I mean they all knew about it um, and we were like all cool about it and like what we did for that day like we were also dressed up in civvies and I like had all this red stuff all over me that was bought for me which was pretty cool um, unlike Tyrant but so so that was a question I got <laughs> and I think it's perfectly fine if you're friends but I mean, if you want to propose to the one, I think it'll be a little bit awkward if you have like the other three or four or five, depending how popular you are around you. So, so yeah, that's my opinion on that, eh? Mr. Famous, yeah, for <laughs> Valentine's Day. Okay. Um, I think the whole concept is that you should have one and only one. That's what the day is about. It's about expressing love. So... Love is not, love is often mixed up in our society. Now you're going to trigger me into having this stupid long video. <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep this very short. If you want more about this, I'm happy to talk more about this. Let me know down below. But love is often mixed up in our culture with lust. So lust is a very physical thing. It's very visually based normally. And it's very desire based. That's not what love is. And that is very much mixed up, especially during Valentine's Day. If you look at some of the more, let's use the word mature, mature parties, where dress up is pretty much the least amount of clothing you can go out in public in. Um, you know, it's all about looking sexy. Um, and that that's not love, guys. That's lust. When, you, when you're not after the person's heart, you're after their body that's a very different story and when you have multiple valentine's days that's generally what people it's not necessarily because they want your heart and they want to show you love in terms of care and honor and respect it's generally because like this guy you were famous and they want to be associated with the famous person or because you know someone thinks you're attractive which is probably why i didn't have any let's not get onto that one um, why if someone finds you attractive they're kind of after that that's a very different story I'm not talking about lust I'm talking about love it's a very different issue so I think if you're going to have a Valentine's Day if you're going to have a Valentine it is something you should be doing with some one person um, and it's not to be slightly crude it's not to get into their pants that's not what the day is about it's about expressing care and honor and love for that person not not lust not the pleasures of physical contact and I'm gonna leave that there we can talk more about that the differences between the two but we're not gonna do that now because this video is already way over what I'm trying to make these videos at um, but I'm glad we had this discussion you will <clears throat> Let's get go there. <laughs> I'm glad we had this 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 chat, guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you watched the whole video, uh, let me know down below for more suggestions. If you're still watching this video, you are the real MVP. Put your hand up, poke. I will see you guys <laughs> in a video soon. If you want to subscribe, if you found this video recently or you found me recently, um, you can click my face. Click it now. Uh, sharing is caring. Uh, sharing is, is an expression of love so so show me some love by clicking the like button and sharing this video with your friends and I will see you in another video anything else Devin? do you have a valentine? yes my wife oh. bye <laughs>